Hey, what's up everybody? My name is TrophyNet and welcome back to Mass Effect Andromeda. We're on the Tempest and, um, well, Kahlo keeps bugging me about Lexia. Now the door is closed again, so I think we needed to uh, see that scene with Drac first before we can check out... We need to talk yeah. about Sam. There we Dr. go. Dr. Taparo does not approve of how we escaped the Ket containment field on the Archon's flagship. By stopping the Pathfinder's heart? No, I do not approve. I think at that point it was the only way to get out. We didn't have a choice. If there had been another option, I would have taken it. How can you be so calm about this? Ryder, Sam killed you. Yes, he brought you back, but what if he didn't? I cannot learn without the Pathfinder. That would be akin to killing a part of myself. Your lines of code, you can't die. Um... I trust Sam. Sam would never hurt Kinda. me. Thank you, Sarah. <sighs> Look, I'm not against Sam. I'm not against you, Sam. But my job's hard enough without an AI stopping your heart. We, Even to save your life. We kind of asked for it, but okay, okay, I'll stop dying. All right, I'll find a new party trick. Have Gil teach you three card Monty or something. Lexi, I apologize for any distress I have caused you. <sighs> And I'm sorry for calling you lines of code. You're more than that. Even if you don't have cells to prove it. Okay. Thanks for that update and worry, Lexi. So, um, next up, we're going to go back to Eos because Cora wants to have a little chat with us over there. And then we need to, uh, well, meet Gil's girlfriend there as well. Although, at least I think it's he's, she's his girlfriend. Well, we'll see on uh, EO. So see you guys in a second. Strange how bleeding for a place makes it feel worthwhile. Our people came a long way. Nothing here will stop them. The sky is beautiful in its own way. There we go. We're back on EOS. Uh, well, five minutes later for me. But you guys uh, don't have to worry about Chief that. Reynolds died. Sandstorms would have buried the body long ago. I suggest scanning. Huh. So that might be something I could check out because I think that's related to the quest with the guy that's imprisoned on the Nexus. Although I'm not 100% sure. But we're here for Korra and we should be almost here. Although there Animals seems to be again. Same as before. enemies here. Let's uh, take out these guys. There we go. I came from over there on the right, but I don't see any of those on the map. Seems to be an area down there, so I might have to be careful that I don't get ambushed all of a sudden. Those are insects. Shouldn't be too much of a problem. Pistol is similar to a shotgun, I feel. Bugs! Bugs all over the place. We cleared it. I think there's nothing left. Yeah. Here, see Smashing what bugs. Meet Cora. Close combat specialist. So where's your mystery project? Ah, trophy. Trophy! Not far. Soil converter. No remnant terraformer, but it makes sandy dirt into something useful. Eventually. Add seeds, some rain, and you've got a garden. Okay. That's right. You wanted a garden of your own. It'll take years. I might not even see it. But that's okay. Asari think in centuries. Lay a foundation, then step away. Let it grow into something you might never expect. Pathfinder training was my foundation. 
gave me a whole galaxy of directions I could go. I don't need someone else's plan, just a good beginning. The first seeds of a garden. One I started with my friend. <laughs> I'm not dressed for gardening, but yeah, what are we planting? What seeds do you have? Desert flowers and grasses from across the Milky Way. Colors we don't even have names for. When they've prepared the ground, roses someday. Ooh, it's sparkly sand. Ready? One, two. What the hell is that stuff? Or those are the seeds, probably. Yeah, okay, I'm a dumbass. Never mind. Never mind. So that's the seeds he just uh, blew into the water, I think. Okay, so that was a little scene, similar to the one we had with Vetra, unless, well, not that romantic, but something. It's something. So next up, uh, Gil and Jill. I think they're probably back at Podromo, so give me a second and we'll head back there. Probably should have come to, uh, to Gil first since I end up at Podromo once I land on Eos, but yeah. Screw the normal order of things. Let's just do everything the wrong way. Revolutionary! Yeah, but okay, let's talk to Gil. There he is, our engineer. Okay, you're here. Yeah, so listen, she's only got a minute or two, and she's in rare form today, just to warn you. She's here kickstarting repopulation protocols, reversing the chemical procreation blockers for colonists. Calls it boosting the batter she's gonna try and get you to do it um do what exactly because if you want to kickstart my procreation habits that's gonna be interesting um that is what she's here to do the woman takes her job seriously hey if you're cool with it i mean makes no never mind to me no chance i'll ever oops a baby into the world Am I interrupting something? No. Ah, Jill. About time. This is... Save it. I asked you both to stop by, remember? Ryder? Pleasure. I know we're all very busy, so I have only one question for you. You want to boost my batter. <laughs> you want to know if you can reverse my chemical procreation blocker? You baby. I see my reputation precedes me. The question is... What the hell did you do to him? It's like he's an adult or something. Ooh, he could his even face. have a mature conversation without it degrading into pot shots. Unless I take it there. What's your secret? Um, it's all Gil, I suppose. I have nothing to do with it. It's all him. I call bullshit on that. It's definitely your influence. Something. Maybe all these years you thought you knew me, you were sadly mistaken. You wish. Okay, you're both off the hook. So glad I got to meet you, Ryder. Wait. Likewise. Don't, don't you have to do something with my... No. With my batter to improve my... Okay. That's another quest done, I think. That is very easy. Um... Well, then, I thought I, that would, would take longer. Because we just did three things and I'm only... What? Ten minutes into the episode? Um... Give me a second. So we're gonna head to Ion next. I'm gonna talk to the Moshai and see if we can't kickstart Jal's um, loyalty quest. Okay, so back on Aya. Let's see if we can't have a little chat with the Moshai to see what all of this is about. Looks like it's down there because now we're in the Natural History Museum. <laughs> um, over here maybe? Maybe this door? Yeah, there we go. If that should have come to me. Axel, I'm all right. You almost died. Am I interrupting What's something? Here? Um, looking for you. I asked the Moshai to set up a meeting. I don't want us to be enemies. Is this true? Axel, Ryder rescued me from the Ket. She risked her life to... Sloane Kelly saved Kadara. Look how that went. 
Um, Kadara is a very bad example of that. I don't condone what happened on Kadara. But one bad experience doesn't define an entire species. Your kind has a history of treating each other unfairly. Just ask the Krogan. How did you... I've been watching you. You're invaders just like the Ket, except less cautious. What does that mean? You'll know soon enough. Do not trust them, Chauvin. Okay, Axel. good talk, Axel. He didn't used to be like this. He was curious, brilliant. But the Ket, even without exaltation, they change us. Of course there's hope. There's still time to bring him around. I want to believe that, but his hatred towards aliens... I'll prove we can be trusted. I hope so. Ryder, I hope so too. An emergency recording from EOS. We just came from Come EOS. To when you get back to the Tempest. Jesus. Why? Come on, I just came from EOS. Okay, let's head back to the Tempest, because this... Yeah, this might take a while. See you guys over there. The reason why I'm so annoyed because of that is because every in between every location swap, there's about five minutes of me getting somewhere or a loading screen or something else. And that's just so annoying if I have limited time to record. But the vid call. Pathfinder, you have pending vid calls. No shit, Sam. Here we go. Distress call. Suvi, play the full distress call from Padromos. Right away. This is the initiative outpost Padromos on EOS. We're in need of assistance. He sounds very cold. Tempest, this one is for you. We've got hostiles inbound. No ground activity, but there soon will be. Pathfinder, we need you. Going dark until it's resolved. We're not giving up EOS again. Out. Yeah, that's very vague. Could use more information than just hostiles and the worry of escalation. Could be he's worried it's not a simple attack. If someone's willing to risk attacking Prodromos, your first outpost... They're trying to make a point. Yeah. Anything else? That's the last we heard. Nothing else? No rider. But also no alarms. The orbital buoy isn't showing any major traffic. Bradley's military, all about the prep. I bet it's a brown out to present less of a target. Keep the nav fresh. I'll be on the bridge soon. Understood. Okay, so that means it's probably just the cat that are on the surface that are going to attack the uh, outpost. Because there is a... A big cat building on uh, EOS that we still need to uh, clean out. Clear out. Because I think that's also the last thing I need to do on EOS to get it to 100% viability. Just clear out the cat. But yeah, let's head to EOS again. And see you all on Podromos. All seems calm for now because we're just landing. It's the same landing animation that it's always been. So I'm guessing they're still incoming, they're taking their sweet time to attack this place. Because we came from quite the way. Here we go, I suppose. Immediate cutscene now. Speak to Bradley. Should be over there somewhere. Of course on the other side of the water, because things are never simple with this game. Always Sorry, need to travel a bit further. Finder, but there are eyes on this planet. We didn't see much traffic from orbit. It's there. But hopefully you can get ahead of this before it turns into something bad. See you soon. Uh, very soon. Thanks for coming. Knew you'd be up for it. I need answers. You said there were hostiles inbound. We've had raids. With all our scientific gizmos, we expected pirates. But not this. 4-5, repeat. Stockpile complete. Waiting for beacon. Launch on detection. Repeat. 1-2-3. Okay, and Garen Calm. What am I hearing, Bradley? Here's my worry. Maybe the raids we've seen were just a decoy, so someone could do a slow tactical build-up in the Black Rock. Tactical? You mean military? No. That was an Angaran voice. He means Rokar. That's why he called us. An attack on our first outpost? Can you imagine how the Nexus would react? Exactly the response Axul wants. Um, we need more information than that. I'm sure we can check it out without drawing too much attention. You're the person for the job. I hope I'm wrong, Pathfinder. I didn't want to bring this kind of thinking to Andromeda. Head to Black Rock Tand. I'll transmit the nav point for the signal. Okay, thank you, Bradley. And thank you for not immediately going to the Nexus with this, because indeed they might react rather violently. 
if they're uh, well antagonized like that. So let's go to Blackrock Tand, and I'll see you guys in a second. That is definitely a Roka signal. Understood. Eyes open. So there we go. I had the fast travel point pretty close by already, which is uh, well very handy. Let's Good switch to six wheel up, mode. Joe. What's your combat disposition? I kill the enemy before they see me. Do I need another one? No, that'll do fine. Oh, what the hell was that? What the hell is that? Bradley was right. Rokar on sight. Watch for reserves after the first assault. Understood. Let's go over here. I'm gonna put myself behind these rocks, or maybe even up here. Anything here? No, just remnant ruins, which may give us a better position. Ooh, platinum. Uh, let's swap to the Black Widow and let's start uh, headshotting these guys. Boom! So I need ammo. And there goes the last one. And a sword in the face. There we go. And boom. And we leveled up for that. Reached level 27. Investigate the Rokar camp. This is a remnant Joel, camp. Are we clear? We are clear. And we still have Bradley's signal. Right. Let's see what they were protecting. This worries me. Roka are not pirates. No, but they do pirate-like things, though. This signal can call dropships to a precise location. That's a Roka strategy. The scout would have placed the beacon in the center of Prodromos. Telling Axul exactly where to strike. Bradley, Blackrock was a Rokar scout with a homing beacon. Shit. Glad you put an end to that. Um, we need a counter plan. This job is half done. We need to ensure they don't come back. Not sure what you're asking, Pathfinder. We can't risk our first outpost. Not like the first two. Promise and resilience. Hmm. Are you to give them an outpost or a decoy at the old sites, that might we be a good idea. Beacon. They want a target, let's give them one. On our terms. Site 2 is still powered. You could broadcast from the old comm array. Bait and switch at Site 2. Let's go. Okay, go to Site 2 Resilience. I think we kind of came from over there, which is good. Um, so yeah, let's head over there and I'll see you guys in a second. So here we are, uh, right next to the water again. To uh, Site 2. And now we need to deploy the beacon and then we'll probably have to defend Approach this place. Site 2 Resilience. It looks it like... Us, the one we get right. Nerf point marked for Rokar signal upload. Hit the button. It'll draw them right to us. Okay then. I know this place. They don't. Let's activate the communications relay. Or array. Defeat the Rokar. Okay. Starting Rokar signal upload. Are they heading toward us? The Rokar have altered course. Now might be a good time to take cover. Yeah. Human, I told you no soon enough. The beacon is live. You couldn't stop our scouts. They've bought it. Hold until they're on the ground. Holding. Oh shit. This might be a problem. There we go. That was my last round. Boom! And there we go. Oh. Override works, but... Sam, the door was sealed from the outside. Yes, Pathfinder. 
Looks like a war zone. What the hell are you talking about? I think they're talking about something else. It was a massacre. Are they still spawning enemies? Jesus Christ. Oh, I fell down all the way. Yeah, I'm stuck. Fuck golf. Okay, apparently I did get a checkpoint to go to site one from here. So that should actually work if I'm fast enough. Axel, the Pathfinder is coming. Marvelous. Everyone prepare to Boom. Defend. Sounds like they're losing their support. Bolstering all shields. And the butt. There's one moving around that I can't really see him. Oh, that's a Mac. Snipers. Well, that was bullshit. What the fuck? Boom. There we go. Hydra taken care of. Explosion. Ooh, I really need some health. You actually drop a lot. Excellent parking skills by me. There we go. And now I'm out of ammo. But I get ammo and health back when I'm inside of that hold over there, so... Ooh, that might have been a bad idea. Whew. Or not. Is this cheating? Technically, it's not cheating. Damn it. Okay. That's done. Plus 5%, current 95. Ooh. That's the last we're almost event. there. We did it, Ryder. We did. Pathfinder, Axel's shuttle is leaving orbit. I'll remember this. We're not finished. You are today, and we'll be ready next time. Come to Padromo's, Pathfinder. We owe you. Again. Okay, Bradley, on my way. Condition order. Better than anyone on the squad. <sighs> Thanks. Didn't realize you were paying attention. The mind wants what the mind wants. Was Jal just hitting on Cora? That was interesting. Um, get a room, you two. But yeah, August Bradley, let's talk to him and finish this quest, I suppose. Pathfinder? The Rokar attack is over. We'll know what to watch for in the future. It can't just be this old man and his hunches. Special thanks to our friend Jal. It helps to show we're not all on opposite sides. Yeah, trust is the way forward. We can't assume anyone could be an enemy. That's no way to live. We're not planning on it. How's the team holding up? A little shell-shocked. Can't blame them. Maybe I should say something? If you like. Um... You've earned a day off. I'm sorry this happened. I'm proud of your abilities. You all deserve commendations. I'm proud of your abilities. Time and time again, you've shown yourselves competent. And this was no exception. The infrastructure you've built, the skills you've developed. Despite adversity, you remain a model for the cluster. So, when do we get back to work? No approval asked or expected. We lose sometimes, but if they have the choice to keep going, they'll take it. This wasn't a good day, but it was another day. You gave them that. Your people, Ryder. You're welcome, Bradley. Ooh, there we go, 100%. So that little talk gave me the last 5% I needed. Terraformer, so uh... Ooh, so the quest is not complete, it's on hold. Wait for Axel to make his next move. That might be interesting, but yeah. Uh, with that, I'm gonna take a little break, because I'm recording for over an hour already. So thank you guys enormously for watching. If you enjoyed the episode, don't forget to like it right here on YouTube. And uh, yeah, hope to see you next time. Goodbye!